Hello everyone, this is Anthony D. Riley, and we're on another road trip. Today we're going to see the Ravenwood Castle, located near Hocking Hills, Ohio. Another mastermind hit! If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and consider hitting the like and subscribe button. Alright, so this is Vacation Unplugged. Ravenwood Castle operates as a unique country inn. It says here, their beautiful remote location surrounded by half a dozen state and national forests, which provides us with absolutely amazing hiking. It also means one of the few places left where cell phones, television, internet service aren't all pervasive. And it gives you their information here. And you can see the owners here, Jim and Pam, who purchased this uh, castle back in 2012. So that's a little bit of information about the uh, initial castle. What I also want to show you is some of the rooms that are in the castle as well. You have Rapunzel's Tower, the Duke's Dungeon, the Queen Elizabeth suit, the Queen Victoria suit, the Empress Matilda suit, the Shakespeare suit, the King Arthur suit, the Candlemaker's Cottage, which is one I stayed in before. And you also have the Merchant's Cottage. You have the Baker's Cottage, the Brewer's Cottage, the Spinkster's Cottage, the Cinderella's Co Coach House, Wilka's Cottage, the Clock Tower, the Silversmith's House, and the Flatter's Fisherman's Cabin. As you can see, there's a lot. I can't even name them all, but that's all of them. Tapper's Cabin, Trapper's Cabin. So now we're going down this road, and uh, this is the road that takes you to the castle. It's kind of a very uh, rough road. Uh, you know, it's it's gravel somewhat. There's some blacktop here, but it's not that bad. But if you're going to go here, you should definitely travel here in an SUV if possible. Um, that's certainly something I would recommend you do. And uh, like I said, definitely come during the daytime. Um, this road can be kind of creepy at night. Um, so if you just want to come out here and see where it's at, um, you know, I would definitely visit in the daytime. Um, you know, you can definitely call them and ask questions. They're very nice people. Um, and, uh, it's a very, uh, clean place. So if you're into like clean, like I am, you want something that's clean and sanitary, this is the place. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a different perspective as we pull up closer. This is the sign you'll greet, be greeted with when you first get closer to the castle. Uh, now, if you go left, it'll take you somewhere else. So make sure you go to the right. Here's the sign right here, Ravenwood Castle. I love the sign. Follow the arrow. And uh, as you can see, there's lots and lots of scenic uh, trees, bushes, that kind of thing on the way there. And, you know, it seems like it takes forever to get there, but we're going to get there really soon. Um, you know, again, keep an eye out for animals, deer, things like that on the road, even at daytime. It's not going to be out of the ordinary for a deer to just jump out or some other animal so definitely be on your p's and q's as you go up this little gravel see it's starting to get a little more gravel and you can see how bumpy it is um, but we're getting closer and as you get to the end of this road it gets a little bit rockier and uh, like i said you know it's definitely not a road you want to walk on <laughs> if you don't have to um, but it is, yeah, as you can see we're starting to go over some more gravel so again, make sure you got good tires on your vehicle when you come here and, uh, you know, make sure that you, you know, your vehicle is up to riding on, you know, otherwise off road or rugged terrain. So definitely don't drive through here in your nice fancy car because it could be kind of hard on your suspension. As you can see, we're, we're bouncing around quite a bit on this road. It's definitely a bumpy, bouncy road. But as you get closer, it smooths out. And, uh, you know, as we're coming around the curve, we're getting closer and now going to now see the castle and i'm going to pull around so you can get a really good angle of it and then i'm going to get out my car so you can kind of see it in slow motion so you know we're pulling around now as you can see and uh, they have a lot of parking here um as you can see there's quite a few people actually here right now so even though it's kind of secluded um a lot of people are you know coming to check this place out and uh like i said it, it's a really cool place to come in ohio and uh, I remember when I was first told about it, I was like, there's a castle I can go stay at? It was like, really? A castle? A real one? Not like a fake one? This is the real deal. This is a real live castle. And uh, we're going to make a part two of this video where we show you 
some video footage of the inside and what it's like to stay here on the grounds. And uh, so make sure you hit the like subscribe button so you'll be able to be updated when we upload that new video to the channel. But as I'm showing you here, you know, it's a pretty solid brick castle, just like you see on TV. Um, and it has different areas around it to have those cottages that I showed you at the very beginning. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll have a more in-depth video when you see the Ravenwood Castle Part 2. And uh, like I said, I look forward to you guys coming back to watch more of my adventures. Um, so now I'm going to show you kind of what it's like to go ahead and pull out of this place, which is also quite interesting because you don't exactly come out the same way you came in. And just remind you, you saw a road that kind of split off. Um, now you'll get a chance to kind of see where that road went. And then also, um, away from the, the uh, main castle is some other housing that you can stay in. It's kind of like, we always call it the village. So it's, it's, it's a place where you can stay if you have a pretty large family and you know, you just, you don't necessarily want to be right up by the castle. Um, you know, they've remodeled it a lot over the years. Cause I mean, it's been many, many years since I've stayed here. We stayed here, it's been a long time. And uh, like I said, if you are familiar with Logan or Hocking Hills, this is where the area where this is located at. Um, it's about an hour's drive from East Columbus, Ohio. So it takes us about an hour or so for us to drive here. Um, and uh, like I said, I had to mute the audio because you would just be hearing so many sounds, uh, <laughs> gravel and suspension squeaking and everything else. It just wouldn't make sense for you to hear all the sound effects that were coming from my vehicle at this point. As you can see, um, we're rocking and rolling, shaking here quite a bit, uh, just coming out of here. And again, you know, this definitely uh, is a road. It's a one-way road, so it's not like you're going to have another lane. If somebody comes over, you're going to have to really be uh, improvising to get out the way. Like, here's a little spot where somebody was coming through. You could kind of pull over get out the way but you know for the most part you're driving through a forest and again if you like forests you like scenery like i do i love driving through places like this it's so relaxing and calm and peaceful and uh you know i could drive through forests all day now at night i can assure you this is much scarier and uh, we do have a hocking hills night video coming soon as well so make sure that you keep an eye out for that video because we'll be driving around in the hocking hills in the complete darkness and i can assure you it is definitely a scary but yet fun experience if you like driving at night if you're not <laughs> fond on driving at night this video will probably scare the living daylights out of you <laughs> so again like i said i know my channel's new i don't have a lot of videos yet but they are coming i'm working on them little by little um, please do me a favor and, and keep me going by hitting that like subscribe button let me know you appreciate what I'm doing. I'm trying to show people um, some adventure, something peaceful, something relaxing, uh, you know, and I uh, hope that this is something that I can keep doing and people will enjoy it because I, I think it's something people don't do anymore is just take a road trip and just document everything. And people just go places and they just take pictures and video is so much funner, but you can kind of see what somebody else sees and you can kind of get a feeling like you're in the car driving with the person. You know, trying to create that experience is what I'm trying to do here, is just trying to give you uh, some adventures. And like I said, we'll do other things on my channel besides road tripping. Um, we'll also do some stuff with space. Like I said, aliens, UFOs, conspiracies, maybe a little conspiracy, but not too much. Uh, definitely gonna do some moon watching, take some pictures of the moon, look at the moon, um, and also cover some other interesting things. But everything will be fun and adventurous. Um, you know, my channel is definitely going to be a stress-free, drama-free channel, and we're going to stay away from all that negative energy to be out there in the world. So, um, you come here to my channel to just, you know, see some good footage and relax and just have an opportunity to really kind of see some areas that maybe you haven't seen before, especially if you don't live in Ohio or you're not familiar with Hocking Hills. Um, this might make you want to come check it out. Um, we'll do some more Hocking Hills videos. Um, since I don't live too far away, I'm going to come back and, and, like I said, film some more footage for you. And, uh, like I said, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video all the way to the end. I'm going to try to keep the videos between 10 and 15 minutes so it doesn't take too much out of your day. So, yeah, that's all I've got for you now. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And, again, be safe out there. And uh, make sure, again, you don't forget to do me a big favor 
and hit that like and subscribe button. Alright, I'll see you next time. Peace.